One of the first things that you should practice when learning to fly is throttle control. When you pick up a transmitter or controller, your first reaction may be to go full stick, and at DRL, we understand that impulse better than anyone. However, your ability to make small adjustments to throttle is not only a crucial skill to help you get through gates and obstacles, but also get you safely back on the ground. So let's jump into the US Air Force night mode map. One of the best ways to practice throttle control is to hit gaps. Start with larger obstacles that are higher up, like these gates. We'll put on the throttle control graph so you can see exactly how much stick deflection I'm using. Line yourself up far in advance and use the controlled amount of throttle and pitch so that you can maintain speed and altitude as you approach. Go slowly, it's about control first and speed second. As the larger obstacles become easier, you can then move on to smaller gaps. Right beneath these larger gates are several options. As you can see, I'm making small adjustments to the throttle while lightly pitching forward so that I can hit the center of the gap. As you get more comfortable, you can slowly start ramping up the speed. When you really start feeling comfortable, try to string multiple obstacles together in a row. These gates next to the US Air Force sign are excellent because you can practice changes in elevation at the same time. The more you improve, the more you should practice flying lower to the ground and under obstacles. The graveyard is a great place for that. Once you master this skill, you'll find you can easily hit any gap you aim for. The bottom line is, the more confident you are with throttle control, the more confident you'll be in the air in general. 